What's good everybody, Timeless Traveler here and welcome to the beta preview for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We just recently got 1.19.50.21 for the beta or preview version of Minecraft Bedrock and with that comes features that we are expecting to see in the full release of the upcoming 1.20 update. Now for anybody that has been watching Minecon Live, we heard that these are going to be some features that are to be expected. These are not all of the features that we're going to be getting. Of course, they're going to be slowly rolling out more and more features, and we're going to have the joy of testing them out as they continue developing the 1.20 update. Now, an official name for the upcoming 1.20 update has not been released, so go ahead and leave a comment down below on what you think the name for the 1.20 update is going to be based on just these current features alone. And of course, if you have not already, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all future videos, some of them covering these beta preview features, as well as my various Let's Play videos. As of now, we currently have a variety of new placeable items. We have a variety of new blocks. We have a new mob. And we have a new interactable block that has redstone capabilities, but we'll get back to that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and start off with the first feature that we have, and that is going to be the hanging signs. Now, the hanging sign is going to come in all different wood types, and it's got a nice little, little visual right here. We have ourselves the chains. Crafting this is actually going to be very, very simple. There's actually two different ways to craft this depending on what type of wood you are using, and we'll get into that in just a little bit. But essentially, you're going to need, if you're not using the bamboo, you're going to need to strip your logs. Whatever log you're using, make sure you strip it with an axe, and then you want to get yourself some chains. And you're going to go ahead and you could just craft six of those with a couple chains, and you're going to get yourself a bunch of hanging signs. We can place this in a variety of ways. You can see if they're hanging from fence posts, they will hang like that with two chains. We can also, not on the fence post, but if we come over here, you can see that we have it placed right underneath here, right under the block. We also can place it on the side of a solid block. And as you can see, text works perfectly fine. We can even color it and we can also highlight it. Coming into probably my personal favorite is the new way that we can use bamboo. Bamboo is now a viable wood source. You can survive using no other wood type other than bamboo. It grows naturally. All you gotta do is break one down a little bit and this will take a little moment. We got ourselves a good enough amount of bamboo. Now, what we'll do here, we'll take some bamboo, we'll take some sticks and we'll take some chains because I mentioned the hanging signs require a slightly different recipe if you're building hanging signs with the bamboo. But we'll come over here, we'll get our bamboo, we'll turn it into planks, simple enough, just like you do any other wood type. Once you have your planks and you have your sticks, you can pretty much create any other type of wood block out there. You will also need a spoon or a shovel because you're going to need to use that to create the raft. Now, in order to create the hanging sign for bamboo, you can't obviously strip bamboo in Minecraft. So you're going to have to use the bamboo planks. And with enough bamboo planks, we'll go ahead and create some slabs. Simple enough. And then from there, we can create the lovely bamboo mosaic, which adds a really nice texture. I'm thinking this would be great for a floor. Coming over here, looking at all the different blocks that we can create. Of course, we mentioned before that we have the hanging signs, which require the bamboo planks since we can't strip the bamboo. We have the fence posts. We have the mosaic. We have the fence gate. We have the stairs in plank and mosaic form. We have the door. We've got the trap door, which I think looks kind of like a scaffolding top. I think that'd be a nice little piece to decorate with. We have the slab. We have the regular sign. We have the raft and we have the raft with a chest, not a boat, but we have ourselves a raft, which I think is great. We have the button and then, of course, the bamboo wooden pressure plate. And just like any other boat, the raft works amazingly. I actually think I like this much, much better. I could see myself riding this throughout the jungle. Oh, we have some lovely friends, but I think this would look a lot cooler going down rivers deep in the jungles. Moving on from the bamboo, we have the new mob, which is going to be the camel. Now these lovely critters, look at them. They're so adorable, all tall, very nice texture. I love the way they look. They even got the little hump on the back. Now you can also put a saddle on the camel. 
and that way we can kind of control it we can run around it should have a nice little dash feature uh-huh so instead of jumping you just kind of charge i like that a lot i really really like that a lot now can it handle terrain it cannot handle terrain so i would not use this mob like a skyrim horse and just go up sharp edges on cliffs and stuff it's gonna need slabs stairs and all that stuff to get up there we can kind of we can kind of get up here but it's uh you, you you'd have a much better it would be much better to just get a horse or a donkey or even a pig they'll do it automatically the camel is going to be a bit of a challenge getting up from a low place but that vertical jump was pretty impressive however it did take some damage which is a little sad now the real question is are we able to put probably not i think i know the answer to this can we put horse armor on it is there any does it it does not it does not okay so we can't armor up our camels however there is something else we can do oh look at it oh that's cute i, I never saw that before it lays down now here's something that we can also do yep let's get the saddle on you and then we're gonna spawn a few zombies they're hungry and they're mad. Now, if you look, they're not hurting me. They're not hurting the camel because the camel has nice tall legs. Uh, we are actually outside the reach of these poor zombies. Look at this. Doesn't matter how many they are. There can be babies. There can be hundreds of them. They're not going to hurt us. As long as we're up here, we're safe. So this mob will be perfect for traversing the night deserts. As long as you don't have to go up any jumps or up any in, in any elevation, this would be the ideal mob for traveling at nighttime. And if you want them to follow you, all you need is some cactus. And if we want to make more camels and we want to breed them up, then all you have to do is feed them some cactus. And then we're going to see some beautiful baby little camels. Oh, look at that. Look at that, just adorable. Aren't they precious, everybody? And finishing off the features in the current preview is going to be the chiseled bookshelves. Now, if you're building a library, wouldn't it be great if you were able to just store your books in a nice decorative bookshelf instead of using chests? Well, now you can. If we take ourselves some planks and some slabs, then we can go ahead and create ourselves some chiseled bookshelves look at this bookshelves that are completely emptied out allowing you to fill them up with whatever books that you want to use now unfortunately unlike chests it won't store 27 it will store six what you can do is you can put regular books in here if you don't have any enchanted books or books and quills to store your stories you can put enchanted books in here and then you can put your regular books and quills now the texture is going to be pretty much the same unless you have some sort of texture pack to add some variation but this is what you're going to get whenever you fill out your chiseled bookshelves and if you want to get your books back all you gotta do is click and you'll get them back in the reverse order that you place them in and then the chiseled bookshelf also has redstone capabilities we can pull a signal up to six out of a chiseled bookshelf with a comparator now that signal strength is going to depend on the amount of books that you have in there so here we have we go up from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That's just to show you that it will not light up the seventh block. But if we go ahead and place in a book, first one lights up. Then we have the second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, and sixth one. And obviously there's no space for a seventh block. So of course, this is as far as we can go. But you can do all sorts of little hidden secrets, secret rooms, vaults, and all other sorts of fun contraptions with the chiseled bookshelf. And that pretty much wraps it up today for the Minecraft Bedrock preview. The amazing features that we have so far, there's of course going to be more in the future. Let me know down below with a comment, which of these features are your favorite? What do you think the name of the 1.20 update is going to be? And what you plan on doing with some of these new amazing features? And Sir Camel, what is your favorite feature so far? Well, you heard it from the camel's mouth, everybody. But that is going to be all the time that we have for today. Thank you again so much for watching. I am Timeless Traveler, and these were the features for the 1.19.50.21 Bedrock Preview. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you have not already, and leave a comment down below again on what your favorite features are and what you plan to do when this update comes out. Until then, you all take care, have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.